Man, my drone died. Well, guess I'll get to fly this again tomorrow. That is, unless I use that new quick charger that charges it in about a little over an hour. Hello, welcome to Engineer's Escape. My name's Jake, and today we're going to talk about this. Now this battery, as you saw in a previous video, takes about 6 hours and 50 minutes to charge, so almost 7 hours. And of course we want to fly more than once or twice a day. So today I'm going to show you the quick charger that I got for about $24 on eBay. This is the IMAX B6, and this was about $17 on eBay. Um, this thing itself actually, for whatever reason, does not come with the AC adapter so you can plug it into your wall. So you have to get that separately. So that is here, and this was $7 on eBay. You see it has the plug, and it just plugs right in here. And I'll plug the other side into the wall. Okay, now in order to use this thing, it comes with a couple of these cables. You will plug the red into the red on here, the positive, black into the negative. And then it comes with this special clip adapter. This is one of the adapters um, that I wasn't going to ever use. It just pushes in here. I actually ended up modifying this a little bit um, and splicing these quick connect pairs on here at the end, one red, one black, so that it'll fit onto our Promark GPS battery. So all you do is you push this on here. Okay. And you'll notice here on the battery there is a plus on this side and a minus on this side. So red goes to the positive. Just push it in there. Black goes to the negative. And now, we'll look on here. So you'll be able to scroll through all these different menus. Um, you'll click this button here on the left program select, click that once, and then you'll be able to scroll through the different battery types. Now this battery is actually a lithium ion, however, if you select lithium ion, it will not charge it up all the way. So select lithium polymer, lipo battery, hit enter. Okay, now once you're on here, you'll sc scroll left and right to do lipo charge. This doesn't have a balancing cable that goes in here, this particular battery, so we'll just do regular LiPo charge. After that, you hit this button here on the right. Okay, now you're going to change this to 2.5 amps. That's the safe charging rate of this battery. That corresponds to the 2500 milliamp hours, 2.5 amps is the safe charging rate for this battery. Hit enter after you click on that. And this is a 7.4 volt battery, in other words, two cells in series, 7.4 volt. Okay, click enter. Once you have that, all that on there, um, you'll hold, hold the right key down to start the charge. But before that, what you have to do with this particular battery, you actually have to push the button to turn it on. Otherwise, uh, there won't be, these connections won't make connection because the switch is turned off. So after you do that, you hold the button on the right. Now it's going to check the battery. It tells you have two cells in series is what this is reading. And what we have set is two in series. Hit enter to confirm. And it'll start charging here. So this tells you this is the LiPo battery um, setting, two cells in series. It is currently charging it at 2.5 amps. And this voltage here on the right is the current voltage of the battery. When this gets to 100%, it'll be at 8.4 volts. And it tells you the amount of time it's been charging here. 
and this is actually the milliamp hours that it has charged the battery so far, or output. So we'll wait and see how long this ends up taking. Also wanted to note that I've noticed when I've been doing this that this battery will automatically shut off after about nine and a half or ten minutes. So you'll want to come back in here a little bit before that um, and turn the button off and then turn it back on. Um, and so it'll continue to charge. If okay, update. It's been 9 minutes and 21 seconds. We're still charging at 2.5 amps and the voltage is up to 7.8. And you'll see that the indicator shows the second LED on here already after only 10 minutes. So I told you this will auto shut off, so uh, before it does that I'm going to hit this button, hold it in to turn it off, and then I'll turn it back on real quick. And that'll reset the timer so it won't auto shut off on you. And it'll continue to charge. Okay, so we're still at two blue lights, and we are now at 19 minutes and 7.89 volts. We are at almost 30 minutes charge time and 8.01 volts. I'm going to turn this off and turn it back on again. Okay, so it's been 38 minutes and 58 seconds. I didn't get back to this in time to start it up again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it back on. Go back over here, hit stop once. Hold in the start button. Wait for it to check. Hit enter. And it'll start charging again. Alright, we're almost at 50 minutes. If you add that extra 40 minutes on there. And it's showing 8.4 volts. I'll turn it off and then back on real quick. It came in here six minutes afterwards and it was still going. I'll go ahead and start it one, one more time here. Okay, we just finished charging <clears throat> and it was an extra eight minutes and 40 seconds to get it up to 8.4 volts, which it was pretty much at anyway, but it did go ahead and top it off some. And you can see we have all four lights here. So now we're fully charged and ready to go again. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video about charging the Promark GPS Shadow Drone battery with the IMAX B6 charger. And I will be sure to leave links in the description to the IMAX charger as well as the AC adapter. Thanks for watching.